Hey, what's going on and welcome to another video. So in this video, this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to switch off double opt-in on Aweber. I'm also going to explain a little bit about what double opt-in is and why you should switch it off because if you're doing paid marketing, especially in your online or affiliate marketing business, I can show you how this can absolutely have a huge effect on your bottom line. Now make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I do have an extra little hack that's going to make sure that double opt-in is switched off. So with, let's get started. So if this is your first time on the channel, go ahead, make sure, hit that little subscribe button below and hit that little bell icon so you get notified each and every time that I post a video. Now, I've been in the online marketing space since 2018, and a huge part of my business has been email marketing. I've got a lot, do, do a lot of email follow-up, so I've been using my email autoresponder, which is Aweber, which I think personally is the best email autoresponder software out there, uh, just personal opinion, so that is the one that I use, and that's obviously what this video tutorial is on today. So, turning off double opt-in, what is it? So double opt-in means when you just start up a new Aweber account, Aweber automatically, what they do is when you create a list, what they do is they will say, for example, you create a list and then someone signs up to your email list. Aweber will automatically send that lead, that person who's just signed up to your email list, a confirmation email, basically saying, are you sure that you want to subscribe to this list? Now, that what they're doing is they're just trying to, as an email platform, trying to keep their integrity because they don't want spammers, they want to keep the integrity of their platform. But also what they're doing is they're trying to like make sure that people really, really, really want to grab your content. Now, how this can be really detrimental to your bottom line, to your revenue and your business is because if you're doing paid marketing, all right, and say you're getting, I'll just do easy numbers, say you're doing five pound cost per lead. So to gain a hundred leads is costing you 500 quid. Now, if you're doing double opt-in, right? And 50% of your leads are not clicking to double opt-in, your cost per lead realistically has just went from five pounds to 10 pounds because you've only got half the leads because all the 50%, 50 of those hundred leads have not opted into your email list to receive your content. So that's why it can have a huge effect on your bottom line. Now, I do know there's people out there that do have the argument of um, having double opt-in uh, generates a more high quality lead, which yes, I do see the argument for that, but people have busy lives because like pe most of the traffic that you're gonna be generating is gonna be on mobile. People might be on the tube, they might be commuting, um, they could be just, life just gets in the way as they see your advertisement. If you're doing paid advertising, they may see your ad, sign up to your email list, totally forget that they've signed up to your email list. And then three, four days later, after they've dealt with the kids and dealt with life uh, that gets in the way, they check, they go back in their in inbox, they've got 40 emails and your name doesn't come up. Now, if they see an, e uh, uh, an email from Aweber, chances are they're not gonna know what that is. Chances are they're just gonna delete that email. So you've lost that lead that you think that you paid five pounds for. So that's why I'm a great believer in not having double opt-in switched off, uh, not having double opt-in switched on because it's just user experience. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump straight into the computer now and I'm gonna show you exactly how to switch double opt-in off. And like I said at the start of the video, make sure to hang around to the very end because I'm gonna show you another little hack that's gonna absolutely 100% guarantee that you've got double opt-in switched off on Aweber. So, we've dived straight into Aweber here. As you can see, we're on the main dashboard. I've just got one of my lists that I don't use, so I'm just gonna use that as an example. So, I'm going to assume that you've already created your list and you're already about to begin marketing, but please, if you are doing paid marketing, I know there is uh, an argument for having double opt-in switched on, but I am a great believer and if you're doing paid marketing, you're well better having double opt-in switched off. It can dramatically increase your sales and uh, increase your bottom line. So, how to do that? So, we're in the list. We're in the list that we've just created. So, what we'd want to do is, simply, it's quite easy, just head over to list options 
list settings and what you want to do is you just want to head over to confirmation message you want to scroll down and you want to switch off that here now yeah i thought this was going to happen a little uh button's going to pop up that says we strongly recommend that you leave double opt-in switched on and um, it's obviously just for spam and then you want to turn this one off as well like I said earlier, what Aweber are trying to do is them as a company, as a brand, they don't want spammers. They don't want people coming in and just spamming people. That's like they're just the lowest of the low of marketing. So they don't want spammers using their service. They want quality, high integrity email marketers out there that are using their service. That's why they have this switched on. So I did say at the start of the video, I was going to share a little hack with you that is going to help you switch double opt-in off. Now, if you're a brand new beginner and you've just started with Aweber, all right, and you, you do this, you switch this off like I've just showed you here. So you've done this, you've switched it off. You're automatically going to assume that that's double opt-in switched off. You begin paid marketing, um, people start joining your list, and then you'll see as people sign up, you'll say confirmation pending, which would then mean that double opt-in is still switched on. So how do we get around that? So what we'll have to do is we'll have to switch it off at both ends. We have to switch it off at our end, which we've just done. And then we have to switch it off at Aweber's side. So this is what we do. Head over to help. We would click on the live chat or you can give them a call. What I would do is I would just get on the live chat. Aweber, honestly, they're awesome. The support team is absolutely fantastic. So I would just jump on the live chat, um, jump on a live chat with them. And I would just basically say to them, Hey guys, um, I've just uh, started with you, you guys' service. It's an awesome service. Um, could you please switch off double opt-in on this list, um, whichever list it is that you want it switched off on, if you have multiple lists. And um, ask, could you please, I've switched double opt-in off at my end. Can you please switch it off at your end? Now, if you, depending on which rep you get, they may come back to you and they may say something along the lines of, um, so I'll just use me as an example. Hey Ross, look, I see you've just been using our service. Um, can you please wait till you've got at least 100 subscribers before you before we decide to turn off double opt-in off our end? So what they're basically trying to say is just to make sure that you're not an email spammer, use our service um, and do that. So if they do do that, in the meantime, what to do is just get all your friends and family to sign up. Just keep signing up to your email list. Try and get that 100 subscribers in there so you, you can then reach back out to them. But personally, what I would do is I would just close that chat, literally open up another chat, speak to another rep and keep asking the same question and just keep asking, keep asking, keep asking. And eventually you'll land on a rep that's probably having a nice day and that rep will just go ahead and instantly switch off double opt-in for you there and then. So then you will have double opt-in switched off at your end and at Aweber's side. So when anyone signs up to your email list, it will automatically, they will just be added to your list there will be no confirmation email sent. They will just automatically get your um, first email set up within your campaign if you have an email campaign set up. If you do not have an email cam campaign set up and you do want to know how to do that, just um, head in the description below. I've got a video on how to set up an email campaign on Aweber. You can check that out. And that is how to turn off double opt-in on Aweber. Now, if you found any value from this video whatsoever, if this managed to help you out, this helped you out in your business, then please go ahead, leave me a little comment below. If you've been, if you've just started using Aweber and you've got some questions, by all means, leave me a comment. I promise I'll get back to you, help you out as much as I can, as I have been using Aweber for coming up for two years. I do think it's a great service. If you've not got an email autoresponder yet and you do want to start your free trial, I'll leave a little link in the description below. You can start your free trial with Aweber. Start using their service, see what you think of it. I personally think it's a great service. And again, if you did like this video, make sure to hit me with that thumbs up. Smash that like button. Only takes you two seconds to do so. Leave me a comment. Make sure to like. Make sure to share. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that little bell icon. And I will catch you in the next video.